From time immemorial, smoke of donkey droppings has been used in some traditions as an anti-infectious medicine. People used to collect the donkey droppings in spring, then dry and store them for later treatment purposes. During the treatment, the dry poop was being heated and the patient would inhale the smoke to treat oral disorders such as ulcers and dental plaques. Such benefits triggered the curiosity of some researchers to see if the smoke can be turned into a mouthwash agent. They burned some dry poops in a closed container multiple times so that enough smoke residues accumulate on the internal walls of the container. Then they resuspended the accumulated smoke with propylene glycol and diluted the solution to a number of different concentrations. This original dilution as well as some more diluted concentration were tested for their antibacterial efficacy and cytotoxicity, I mean damaging the healthy cells of the body. The poop smoke mouthwash was effective to inhibit a number of streptococci and some other bacterial species. In high concentrations, the smoke liquid was also toxic to the healthy oral cells that were cultured in the lab and used during experiments. However, there were a number of more diluted concentrations that were safe to use. So what is inside that poop smoke that makes it disinfectant? Well, a gas chromatography and mass spectrometry analysis showed that it was mainly made from some saturated fatty acid that could cause such an effect. For example, palmitic acid when heated emits acrid smoke and irritating fumes. This means that those fumes have a high biological activity and can damage the living cells. You know, after some more research I noticed that those fatty acids can also be found in the liquid smokes made from non-digested plant materials such as rice husk, with similar antimicrobial effects. This means that people could have simply smoked some agricultural residues instead of donkey poops to get similar medicinal effects. Alright, that's all for this video. Please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you later.